Hi friends, this is Kashyap from Kottam Kannad Institute of Technology. Today we are going to see how the solar energy is converting into the voltage and how can we utilize that voltage for the home needs. Okay, let's come to our project. In our project, the main operators we use it is a solar panel, which you are seeing now. And this is a voltage regulator circuit, which will control the voltage coming from the solar panel. Uh, okay, rechargeable battery which is used to recharge the energy coming from the solar panel. The solar panel which you are seeing now will generate up to 16.5 volts to 20 volts of energy. If it is sunny day, it will generate up to 21 to 22 volts. And if it is not sunny day, it will generate up to 12 to 13 volts. The black, black boxes which you are seeing now in the solar panel the black boxes which you are seeing now in the solar panel are made with the the silicon material which will convert the solar energy to the voltage. The, so, the main conversion of solar energy into voltage is nothing but the solar energy contains some of the photons which are called as energy carriers and which will convert into the voltage by using the solar panel is nothing but the solar panel will convert that photon flow into the electron flow. The electron flow is nothing but the voltage. So we are using that voltage for the home purpose. Now you can see the output of the solar panel which we used here. It is around 19.3 volts to 19.4 volts around it. Now I am going to connect the solar panel energy to the voltage regulator circuit uh, via two pin source. And the regulator circuit mainly contains a diode and a 7806 IC and 7805 IC and two 1 watt resistors and another diode and a female USB port. The main function of this diode is to protect the solar panel from the backing up power coming from the rechargeable battery. This is a 7806 IC and 7805 IC which are called as regulator ICs uh, which mainly used to regulate the uh, variable supply and these are one watt resistors which are mainly used to protect the output devices from the variable voltage coming from the solar panel and a diode which is mainly used to block the backing up power coming from this rechargeable battery and finally I used it through USB this uh, female USB port is mainly used to charge the mobiles, JSM modems, iPods through USB direct itself and I given the rechargeable battery supply to directly to the female USB so you can charge directly through rechargeable battery I am going to connect the rechargeable battery output to the LG touchscreen mobile you can see that the mobile is charging it's up to 3 points 2 points which is varying between 2 and 3 points hi this is Chetu I am the videographer of this mini project okay thank you